So till this point, we are working with numbers and everything is working fine. But now we want to work with text. Now what happens when you work with text? And this text in programming are normally called string. Okay, so let's go with this. So when you say a number, so let's say if you want to represent a number, let's say 45, and you, when you say enter, that's a proper value. Now when you open a prompt, a Python prompt, and when you type something, it tries to convert that into some sensible thing. Example, when you say 45, it knows that's a number. So it will take that as a number and say, okay, I got your number, that's, this is your number. That's what you can see on the screen. But now if you type a statement, again, what is statement? We'll talk about that later. But in short, in Python, basically whatever code you write, each line is one statement. Not always. A statement is one thing. So normally we write one statement in one line. It may happen that you write one statement in multiple lines. It will make much more sense once we talk about this in the upcoming videos. At this point, when you write a number or a statement, it will try to read that and convert that. Here, 45 works. But what if? If I say Naveen, now Naveen is my name. And when you try to do that, Python says, what's wrong with you? Why you are saying Naveen? See, when, it, when you have a variable, example, let's say if I say uh, num is equal to eight, now num is a variable, right? And the value for num is eight. And then when you try to print num, it works. So this num is a variable. Now Python knows it is because you have assigned the value to num just before that particular statement when you're printing it. What about this? This is not a variable. And my intention was to treat that as a string or the text. It's not happening. It's because whenever you type something, Python tries to convert it. So here, num, it knows. Naveen, it has no idea. So we have to say, hey, you know, that Naveen is not a variable. It's a string. It's a basically a text which I want you to take and do whatever you want, but take, take that value. And if you want to do that, you have to put that in a single quote. So basically, you can write Naveen, but you have to make sure that you put single quote at the start and the end to specify this is where it starts and this is where it ends. And uh, it's not just a word. It can be multiple words. Example, if I say Navin Reddy, the list goes. So it can be multiple words in one particular string. And at this point, I'm just wanting to focus on Navin. I will say enter and it works. You can say it says Navin as it is. Of course, you can use print, which we were using before. And you can put that here. Again, I'm not talking about print in detail yet. We'll talk about that later. But imagine print is printing something. And at this point, I'm printing Naveen. And you have to make sure that you put that single quote. Otherwise, if you don't put it, again, your Python will be unhappy by you by saying, what you're doing? Why you're saying Naveen inside print? I have no idea what you're talking about. So when you say print, you have to put single quote and then Naveen, then it, it knows, okay, that's a string. I want to print it. And now this time there's no single quote because when you simply say Naveen with single quote, it will print single quote as well because that's what it is representing. That's a string. But when you print, it says, okay, I want to print Naveen. So it is what it's doing. When, when you write multiple lines of code, when you want to do that, when you want to execute, we'll al always use print. We'll not be putting this openly there. Uh, it's just for ideally, which we are using here or the prompt. Okay, so uh, this is working. But what if you want to print, so let's say I want to print something. Example, I want to print Naveen laptop. Okay, so when you do that, when you say Naveen laptop and or maybe Naveen Telisco, it's time for self-branding or self-promotion. Okay, so when you say enter, you can see we got Naveen Telisco. As I mentioned, you can have multiple words. What if I want to be grammatically correct here? So something like this. I want to print Naveen's Telisco. Will this work? Think about this before I enter this. If you have answer in your mind, that's good. Let me enter and verify if it is matching with yours. Enter. Oh, it's not working. Why it's not working is actually very simple. Because if you see here, let's talk about this particular thing. Here, when you say single quote and single quote, this single quote first is a starting point. This is the ending point. Perfectly works. But here, when you say this statement, this is the starting point. Where is the ending point? Logically for us, it's here. This is the ending point. But then if you read this statement properly, this is where it starts and this is where it ends. Okay. And there's no starting point again. And then we are ending. That's why Python is Python saying, okay, I'm happy with this. This looks like uh, one particular string. 
what comes after i have no idea and then you are putting a extra quote here so it says unterminated string literal okay so this is where you start the string literal and it's not you're not ending it example if you end it here uh, then it will give you a new type of error because it says you forgot the comma or something. There's no issue with this particular thing now. It is creating issue with this. What is this S after this name? Okay, let me just clear it out. And now let's try to solve it. This is what we're trying to solve, right? What we want to achieve is, of course, if I remove this particular quote here, it will work. But I don't want to remove it. So in this case, instead of using a single quote, you can use a double quote. So string you can represent with the help of single quote or double quote. Both works. So if I say enter now, there's no issue because it knows string is getting started with double quote. It will end with double quote. This single quote here is a part of the string. There's no issue. The problem starts when you want to print, let's say, telesco in double quotes. Okay, something like this. I will just delete this and I will show you what I want to print and then you help me. So I want to print something like this. I want to print Naveen's. Oh, what did I do? Okay. So this is what I want to do. I want to print Naveen's, then space, and then Telisco in double quotes. If you want to do that, of course, you have to put that in a print. But then inside this print, you have to put some quote, single quote or double quote. Now you think what will work. If you put single quote, example, something like this, if you do that, then this particular single quote will feel bad. I mean, why I'm here. But if you put double quotes, then this telescope will feel bad. Why the, why the double quotes are here? Okay, so we have to keep something happy. So what we can do is, see this single quote here, it has no special meaning because this has a meaning because this is where you are specifying starting and ending point. This has no special meaning. And we have to tell that to Python, hey, we don't want to treat this something special. And if you want to cancel the special effect of the single quote, you can put a slash. So whenever you want to cancel something, we will see that in the next uh, section of this video. If you want to cancel some special meaning, you put a slash. And now when you do that, there's no problem because this particular single quote is treated as the starting of the string. This is getting treated as the ending of the string and the special meaning of this quote is getting cancelled by that backslash. So that's important. Next, I will just clear this out. I just want to have a flash. So let's say I want to print Naveen here and of course it will work provided I put that in the single quote and I will do that, do that, enter. But what if I want to print Naveen 10 times with a space of course, so I will just say Naveen space and then I will again say Naveen space and then I can keep doing that okay and this will work if I say enter this works but then I don't want to print this multiple times if I want to print 10 times I have to type 10 times instead of that you can simply use a math here you can say I got a string and I want to do that 10 times it will work okay it is that simple so python is actually fun because you can do all these things with python now i want to try out one more thing i will just clear the screen and here i want to oh, i'm saying python it should be print code i will say c colon slash users slash naveen now when you do that what do you think will be the answer of course i'm putting that in single code there's no special symbols here and when i say enter it should work the moment I do that it is giving you error it says the unicode error unicode escape kodak cannot decode bytes in position 2 and 3 which is 0 1 2 and 3 this 2 now why it's saying unicode is because when you say slash u or slash n so when you will have a character after slash it treats or the alphabet after slash it treats as a special character example slash n means new line there are multiple characters multiple uh, unicodes here and it says you will have issues when you do that now what I want to do is I want to cancel out the meaning of slash again I will do slash because slash n itself is a special meaning okay so when you say double slash now it will work so this is something you have to remember when you work with slash or special thing inside your string uh, you have to cancel the special meaning you can put one more slash to cancel the meaning of the slash itself I know that's tricky but it's quite fun if you know how to work with it so yeah that's about this video see you in the next part of string